Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, Pray for us. Saint Joseph, Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, Pray for us. San Roque, Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, Pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, Pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, we commemorate today the Holy Guardian Angels. They are ministers of God's care to all of us. God sent our Guardian Angels so that we may be protected and guided always through the journey of life. And so in this Eucharist, we are reminded of God's presence, of God's care. Even when we are alone, we know that our guardian angel is always with us. To prepare ourselves to celebrate this Mass, let us first acknowledge our sins and humbly ask the Lord for His pardon and mercy. Lord Jesus, you healed the sick. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgave sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you gave yourself to heal us and bring us strength. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who in your unfathomable providence are pleased to send your holy angels to guard us, 
hear our supplication as we cry to you that we may always be defended by their protection and rejoice eternally in their company. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Baruch. Fear not, my people. Remember Israel. You were sold to the nations, not for your destruction. It was because you angered God that you were handed over to your foes. For you provoked your Maker with sacrifices to demons, to no gods. You forsook the eternal God who nourish you, and you grieved Jerusalem who fostered you. She indeed so coming upon you the anger of God, and she said, Hear, you neighbors of Zion, God has brought great mourning upon me, for I have seen the captivity that the eternal God has brought upon my sons and daughters. With joy, I fostered them, but with mourning and I lament, let them go. Let no one gloat over me, a widow bereft of many. For the sins of my children, I am left desolate because they turned from the law of God. Fear not, my children, call out to God. He who brought this upon you will remember you. As your hearts have been disposed to stray from God, turn now ten times the more to seek Him. For he who has brought disaster upon you will, in saving you, bring you back and during joy. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord listens to the poor. The Lord listens to the poor. See you lowly ones and be glad. You who seek God, may your hearts revive. For the Lord hears the poor and his own who are in bands he spurns not. Let the heavens and the earth praise him. The seas and whatever moves in them. The Lord listens to the poor. For God will save Zion and rebuild the cities of Judah. They shall dwell in the land and own it, and the descendants of his servants shall inherit it, and those who love his name shall inhabit it. The Lord listens to the poor. Spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. The disciples approached Jesus and said, Who is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven? He called a child over, placed it in their midst, and said, Amen, I say to you, unless you turn and become like children, you will not enter the kingdom of heaven. 
whoever humbles himself like this child is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven. And whoever receives one child such as this in my name receives me. See that you do not despise one of these little ones. For I say to you that their angels in heaven always look upon the face of my heavenly Father. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear brothers and sisters, we celebrate today the Feast of the Guardian Angels. They are the angels of God assigned to each one of us to protect us, to guard us in our daily life. It is good to be reminded today, my dear brothers and sisters, that the angels are creatures of God. But unlike us, they are purely spiritual beings. Ang mga anghel po ay katulad natin nilikha ng Diyos. Pero sila ay mga espiritual na nilalang. Unlike us, angels do not have bodies, but they are spirits created by God. And so, their presence with us remind us always that there is a spiritual side to everything. Ang presensya po ng ating mga anghel na laging kasama, kapiling natin, ay nagpapaalala po sa atin ng ating espiritual na buhay. In our Gospel reading for this day's feast, we are reminded by Jesus that for every little one, He said, there is an angel in heaven looking always upon the face of the Father. Ang Angel de la Guardia na laging kapiling natin ay laging nagdarasal sa harapan ng Diyos. The presence of this angel, therefore, reminds us always of the spiritual life given to us by God. That there is always a spiritual life, a spiritual side, a spiritual face to everything. Ang presensya ng anghel ay nagpapaalala sa atin, nagtuturo sa atin, at nagpapadama sa atin lagi ng presensya ng espiritual na buhay natin na ipinagkaloob sa atin ng Diyos. The guardian angels teach us of the spiritual side of everything. And so today, my dear brothers and sisters, as we celebrate this Feast of the Guardian Angels, let us always live being reminded and acknowledging that there is always a spiritual side to everything. Sana po ang kapistahan na ito ng ating mga guardian angels ay nagtuturo sa atin na bawat ginagawa natin, bawat sinasabi natin, bawat punto sa buhay natin ay mayroong espiritual na nais sabihin at nais ipakita sa atin. Siguro po ngayon na nanonood kayo ng online mas na ito, baka ang nakikita lang natin ay ang, of course, siguro kung kayo ay nakaharap sa cellphone, nakaharap sa telebisyon, halimbawa, nakaharap sa inyong tablet, 
ang nakikita nyo lang ay yung cellphone, kayo, ang inyong tahanan o baka ang inyong mga kasama. Huwag po natin kakalimutan na mayroong spiritual side na maaaring hindi natin nakikita pero nariyan kapiling natin. Ang ating mga anghel ay kapiling natin sa misang ito. Ang presensya ni Jesus, kapiling natin sa misang ito. Maaaring hindi natin nakikita, pero nariyan, pinapaalala sa ating kasama natin. At hindi lamang po sa pagmimisa natin, sa bawat gawain natin, nariyan ang ating anghel nagpapaalala sa atin ng presensya ng Diyos. Hindi lamang po sa mga mabubuti nating ginagawa, madalas din po sa ating mga ginagawang hindi tama, mayroong spiritual side. Nariyan pa rin ang anghel natin, kapiling natin sa bawat ginagawa natin. Kaya nga siguro, Tama yung sinasabi ng mga magulang natin na kapag may ginagawa kang mali, kapag may sinasabi kang mali, umiiyak ang iyong anghel. Siguro may katotohanan dito. Kasi iniisip natin minsan, halimbawa, kukuha ka ng hindi sa'yo. Sasabihin natin, wala namang nakakakita. Kaya, Madali lang kunin ito. Hindi ako mapapagalitan, hindi ako masisisi, hindi ako makukulong dahil walang nakakakita. Pero hindi natin napapansin na at hindi na natin nakikilala ang presensya ng mga anghel. Nakatingin sa atin, gumagabay sana sa atin at nagpapaalala sa atin ng presensya ng Diyos. Even in evil things that we do, whenever we disobey God, the presence of the angels are there. We may do evil acts and say that, ah, no one can see me. I can take this. I can do this. Because no one sees me, we are not aware of the spiritual side of the spiritual presence of the angels. My dear brothers and sisters, we are in a crucial time in history. This pandemic has affected us and our country is entering into the election season and maybe you are always hearing in the news the term for example we are undergoing a constitutional crisis we are undergoing a political crisis we are undergoing a crisis in economy fiscal crisis all of these words we are hearing every day. But let us always be reminded that amidst all of this, there is a spiritual crisis that is happening that we may not have been acknowledging for many times now, but that may be the root of this crisis. My dear brothers and sisters, you may be undergoing different crises at this time. Crisis in your financial life, crisis in your family life, crisis in your life, in your health. Do not see them as solely crisis in the family, crisis in your finances. But let us always see that they are rooted in a spiritual crisis. 
and that what we may need is not only healing financially, physically, but we also need spiritual healing. As we continue to celebrate this feast of the guardian angels, let us be reminded that in every action that we do, in every word that we say, in every stage of our life, there is a spiritual side, a spiritual face, and that the crisis that we are undergoing may be rooted in a spiritual crisis. It is perhaps time to recognize our spiritual side, our spiritual life, so that we may also ask from the Lord a spiritual healing, a spiritual revival. Amen. The Father reveals the mysteries of the kingdom to the little ones. Let us pray to our God who shows such love for small and humble people. We bring all our needs before our Heavenly Father, confident of His loving care. For every petition, let us say, Almighty Father, bless our humble ways. Almighty Father, bless our humble ways, that the Church and its leaders may not seek to impress the world with outward splendor and power to reach out to all as humble servants. Let us pray to the Lord. Almighty, Almighty Father, bless, bless our, our humble, humble ways. ways, that those in power may not rely on force or weapons but that they may use their position for the common good. Let us pray to the Lord. Almighty, Almighty Father, Father, bless, bless our, our humble ways. ways. The children may get to know God by our teachings and examples. Let us pray to the Lord. Almighty, Almighty Father, bless, bless our, our humble ways. ways. That those burdened by the trials of life the poor, the sick, and the handicapped may experience God's love and care through us. Let us pray to the Lord. Almighty, Almighty Father, bless, bless our, our humble ways, ways, that all those who have died may enjoy everlasting happiness in the kingdom of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Almighty, Almighty Father, bless our, our humble ways, ways. Lord of heaven and earth, make us wise with your wisdom and help us to follow you in the humble way you have shown us. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands 
for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Receive, O Lord, the offerings we bring before you as we venerate your holy angels and graciously grant that under their constant protection we may be delivered from present dangers and brought happily to life eternal. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, and to praise you without end in your archangels and angels. For the honor we pay the angelic creatures in whom you delight redounds to your own surpassing glory, and by their great dignity and splendor, you show how infinitely great you are to be exalted above all things through Christ our Lord. Through him, the multitude of angels extols your majesty, and we are united with them in exultant adoration as with one voice of praise we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray. 
that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him, and with Him, and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art, who art in, in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am, I am not, not worthy, worthy that, that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Brothers and sisters, the body of Christ. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
let us pray. As you are pleased to nourish us for eternal life with so great a sacrament, O Lord, direct us by the ministry of angels into the way of salvation and peace. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. We would like to thank all of you for joining us in this celebration. And uh, an important announcement that uh, tomorrow we will be opening the Manila Cathedral to the public. And uh, in, our, in all masses tomorrow, Sunday, and also in the coming days, we will now be open to the public. And so our masses tomorrow will be at 8 a.m., 10 a.m., and 6 p.m. Please be reminded also of the government IATF protocols that only fully vaccinated people are allowed to enter inside the cathedral. For those who may want to celebrate Mass with us here, please bring your proof of vaccination and also your stay safe QR code for contact tracing. For those who are not yet fully vaccinated, you may also join the celebration of the Mass. We will be having um, monitors and speakers outside the cathedral so that you may follow the Mass from Plaza Roma and the uh, communion ministers will also be distributing communion outside the Manila Cathedral. And also, starting tomorrow until November 9, the Manila Cathedral will open the Blessed Souls Chapel. This is the chapel inside the cathedral dedicated to prayers for the faithful departed. The Blessed Souls Chapel will be open the whole day and you may come and offer your prayers, light your votive candles, and offer masses for the souls of the faithful departed. So this will also start tomorrow until the 9th of November. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless all of you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Oh, oh, oh.